Good morning, everybody. Um, a lot of people have been having trouble with this new mod um, Forsaken. So I thought I'd do a tutorial and show you exactly how to install it. It is a little bit complicated and it's not been very well explained, so let's get started. Um, so the first thing I wanna, you want to get is this Armour 3 Sync. So you just get down at the bottom, click to download Armour 3 Sync Launcher and add-ons synchronization. So let's just assume you just downloaded that. I just showed you how to do it. I'm sure you, you know how to do it anyway. So that's that done. So then the next thing we need is we need to copy this. Don't click it. Right. So we've installed Armour 3 Sync. So we're going to start it up. I've deleted everything on it, so not as well as I thought, but not, not to worry. Um, Right, so the first thing we're going to do is um, go on to Launcher Add-ons and select um, there it is. that, open, there you go. That's very important. If it doesn't have the actual .exe file to launch, to launch Armour, it won't work. Right. Then we want to go into repositories, create new, and this is where this comes in that we just copied, and give it a name. I'm going to call it Forsaken, and then hit import, and then it fill in the rest, and hit OK, and there we go. I think it's probably taking longer because I've got more add-ons. There we go. Um, in my Armour 3 directory. So the next thing you do is click on these, the red ones. Actually, just select all. And then click that. There we go. And you might have um, it might say for you that there's files to delete, don't worry about it. Um, because you might have like an older version of Exile or something, so it's not a problem. So I'm just going to pause while this downloads. Okay, download is finished. There you go. Just checking all the files. There we go. So then you just that make sure that's picked. Make sure Armour 3 is picked, not Armour 3 um, AIA. And then you just start it up. Uh, what I'm going to do is launch your options. I'm just going to do it windowed mode. Go back to here. Now one of the things that's a little bit annoying about this is with the A Armour 3 Sync, it doesn't give you the option to start up with a battle eye, so it will go onto Armour 3, then I'll choose the server, and then it'll say it'll ask me to um, accept the conditions of battle eye. Then it'll close down Armour, then it'll open it again, and I'll be in the lobby. You can see that it's all the mods up there. Look. 
Oh dear. Don't worry. Um, that I said oh dear, I mean, because the only reason I said oh dear is because I can, I can tell that the sound's odd because of my um, virtual audio cable, which won't affect you at all. It'll close down again in a second and it'll launch Battle Eye. I think you probably could have, um, in Steam, you could probably have um, a, a launch parameter that makes sure it always starts with, or there might even be a thing to tick that makes sure it always launches with, um, with Battle Eye, but I don't know.